This is Zig Fermanic at Sumatra Development here to demonstrate our Oracle Beehive Calendar to Exchange Migration Technology. So over here, using the Outlook interface to Beehive, we've got a sample user's calendar, Jimi Hendrix. Um, over here, in Office 365, we have a completely blank calendar that we're going to migrate him into. Well, it's not completely blank, there's something already there. We'll show you a little bit about that later. How are we going to do this? Real simple. We're just going to click Process All, warns us that one account could not be validated. What validated means is that uh, it found a user in Beehive that did not exist on the Exchange server. We can map that user, but it just wants to let us know about that. Since one of the crucial things we do is move users into uh, Exchange, keeping all the guest lists, uh, recurrence patterns, guest exceptions, guest responses. We want to make sure we've got all those because it's a lot easier to get it right the first time than go back and try to shoehorn it all in. And we see how quickly Jimmy's calendar uh, got put in here. Okay, so for instance, recurring meetings are recurring meetings. These invitations that are coming in actually are us recreating Janis Joplin's acceptance and declines of various meetings. We do the same thing with conference rooms, of course. So the 16th of every month is, in fact, a series. So we open that up, and we can see that. So we open that up, and we can see that. It occurs every 16th of the month. OK, now let's go uh, down here. Uh, certainly banners come in, and um, all of the uh, Status information on those is the same. Okay, we also maintain things like uh, the private state of appointments and meetings, recurrences with exceptions, all the recurrence patterns. There's very little that we can't um, deal with here. Um, and now here we see Jimmy invited Janice and we see her acceptance. We've got all that tracking. Um, we see Jimmy invited Janice, and she hasn't responded to it yet. So that invitation is going to still be in her inbox so she can deal with it, because that's the way that uh, Exchange works, no responses. And here's a decline. Okay. And, of course, the tracking information is all there. All right. And, of course, we'll also take along contacts and tasks. Didn't have a lot of those. But notice one of the great things that we can also do. Let's say that um, we made a mistake. We can selectively undo everything that we have inserted. And again, this is just the data that Sumatra has inserted. So we start that going, allowing you to test um, in limited numbers before you go to, go to um, scale in your production environment, or to try it out to make sure that it's going to work for you. And there we go. Data's gone, except for that one event. This should stay when Jimmy doesn't undo that we kept here before. All right. Check us out at sumatra.com. And when you're ready to begin a trial, just let us know. Thank you.